Good morning. Well, good morning. You know that movie, honey, I shrunk the kids? Hey, my, no, it's Jenna. Tara's in Tennessee, y'all. Yep. Um, yeah, we're, we just got done with chores. Jenna just got home from work. So she hadn't even slept. She, uh, she'll go to work and then comes home and is up for a little bit. You know, typically got to eat. Uh, it's always funny because she's normally eating like dinner foods, even though we're eating breakfast, but it's dinner time for her. So, you know, third shift life. Uh, yep. I'm energized today though, my coworker. Um, she always goes to take, um, it's like an off-brand five hour energy that she gets from Dollar General, cause it's a dollar. And I was telling her that I was starting to get tired. And she said, I have an extra one, do you want one? And I was like, yeah, sure. So now I'm like, Oh, hop it's working <laughs> for a dollar, it does pretty dang good. Um, yeah, it was a bit foggy this morning. Uh, it's real foggy by the lake. You can see behind us now that it's um, it's pretty good. But uh, yeah, first thing this morning, it was another one of those foggy mornings where you literally could watch the moisture moving in the air. Um, little than, I mean, right now there's zero wind, none. Mm -mm. Uh, but all the birds and wildlife are happy. The animals are happy. They got fed. And boy, let me tell you about these goats, y'all. <laughs> you want to talk about divas. So the minute that Ellie Mae sees anybody, she's like, ooh, person, cool, food, feed me now. So naturally, most of the time, so that I don't hear them over there, because then she gets the little ones bellering. So I'll go over, and they're typically the first ones that I try to feed in the morning so that, you know, I can hear myself think for the rest of the animals and chores. <laughs> And I go over there and they still have one of, there's three buckets in there that, you know, that way they're not trying to fight over one feeder station. And yeah, but if the main feeder station's empty, they beller. And there was almost a whole full bucket in the other one. It was just away from it. And I'm like, what, why are you, what, you diva, you don't want to bend your neck down far enough. It's ridiculous. So, but everybody is quiet and happy and Plants are watered where I still have, I need to double check too and probably turn the water timer off. I'm gonna do that while I'm talking to y'all. Um, I need more cream cheese. Because I always just break them and dip it in there. Like, cause you never spread enough cream cheese on it. So. Why well, did I put cream cheese on the top? So, oh. um, yeah, with Tara made the homemade sourdough berry bagels so we used berries from ryan and jess they had freeze-dried a bunch of blueberries and raspberries and she's like well we need to use some of these up and she had all that sourdough starter so she made berry bagels out of the sourdough and there's a whole bunch of like baked goods in the fridge they they came out a little tough but we found the secret is just put them in the microwave for like 30 seconds and it softens them uh and then i got some cream cheese and we put that on there so i think strawberry cream cheese is the best i'm gonna do this Yes, yeah, strawberry cream cheese on bagels. I don't even remember where. I mean, I was in the Marine Corps when I discovered it, and I think it was probably, you know, one of the chowls or something, and someone's like, oh, man, you need to go with... Because I mean, plain... Plain? Oh, it's a new lips. <laughs> I got them at the co-op yesterday. Um, plain cream cheese on, like, a flavored bagel is really, really good. But then if you have a plain bagel, and then you put plain cream... Where's the yumminess? Where's the... No. So, yeah, I don't remember. At some point in the Marine Corps, I had discovered that was actually to get blueberry bagels and then use the strawberry cream, cream, cheese. cream cheese. That's so good. Oh, yeah. That's what I get a lot. I get, like, the, the cold bagels that they actually keep cold. Yep. And then I'll get a tub of the strawberry cream cheese. But since I'm the only one eating it, I just dip it in. 
But there was one morning, Holly sent me a picture eating a blueberry bagel with strawberry cream cheese. And I said, what are you eating? <laughs> and she said, I mean this. And I said, I just ate that yesterday. Yeah. It's so good. It's it's delicious, y'all. The best combo. And, and these sourdough bagels are delicious. Um, I know through some more trial and error, my wife is going to figure out how to make the perfect bagel. Um, of course, the day she was doing that baking, she had 9 million things going on. So not mad at it and was actually uh chatting in comments yesterday um with uh sid over at uh her and mike over at three mississippi and sid said mike made some sourdough pretzels oh those sound good and those were amazing so i've got it in the brain bank <laughs> oh mama bear's gonna have to try out some uh try out some sourdough pretzels but yeah, today I think they're they're calling for storms later this afternoon. Um, and I guess I'll slow down a minute, right? We're getting ahead of things. So most of y'all already know, we've been keeping everybody up to date that Tara is in Tennessee. Got her there yesterday. Um, what an early morning, holy man, y'all. So got her down to Little Rock, she flew out, she got to Knoxville, uh, no issues, and she's been taking care of her dad, uh, making sure things are good, of course, with the hospital staff, and um, they're, he's still really, really sick. The infection is pretty embedded, and, you know, so they're tackling that pretty aggressively, um, and then they found out that, uh, for whatever reason, up until this point, they haven't really done a lot of heart testing on him well come to find out because he's in there for this that yeah he's got a really weak heart um so right now they're able to and there's a um what is it it's out of sequence his timing chains off not a, a rid, rid, rhythmia what is it arrhythmia where the heart doesn't beat the right cycle i think that's arrhythmia if i remember I remember mom saying heart failure and like AFib. That's what she says. Oh, I think I remember she, she. I remember she said heart failure and either kidney failure or soon kidney failure because of the sepsis because it got backed up in his kidneys because yeah. of the bladder stone and so it affects the kidneys really bad because kidneys can't do his and, job. And as of this morning's update uh, from the, the group message she sent out to save from typing it a hundred times was um, he still hasn't passed the kidney stone, but you know, there's, they're, they're making some progress and she's been working with the hospital staff um, to work out some programs for today to hopefully get him some good rest because that's not helping either is he's not able to, to rest very well at night. So yeah, it's, it's ongoing. Um, so the continued thoughts and prayers for that are much appreciated and needed. Um, but in the meantime, you know, Jake's still here and he's been out. He, he did come up yesterday. <laughs> um, but yesterday I wasn't doing much of anything y'all. I, I even got home before him. Yeah, we we left the house here at 2.30 Hi. in the morning. And it's a little over a three-hour drive to Little Rock. Got her dropped off at the airport, and then boom, here I am. Three-hour drive back home. Um, and on about an hour and a half of sleep. So, you all know I love my sleep. And without it, yeah. I got home probably... 8 30 9 o'clock something like that and jenna had gracefully <laughs> did the morning chores so that was all taken care of we chatted for a hot minute and i was like love you i'm going to bed and oh maya quit it Just sit babe trying to knock y'all down sit um i went to sleep sit. and yeah it was like 2 30 in the go. afternoon when you woke up before i woke up um and then i was up for the rest of the day but just not that energy level i mean sleeping through most of the day it was like i'm just gonna rest uh i know i needed it i wanted to get some other things done but i'll get those done today um and yeah it's but today's good woke up 
early, surprisingly. I think it was probably 7 o'clock, and I'm like, really? I'm a, okay. You know, little... Yeah. little. And he told me last night, if I'm not up when you get home, wake me up. Yeah, because I probably should just set an alarm and, you know... Alarms are annoying. Do the adult responsible thing, but nah, I'm not doing that. Not unless I have to. Um, but yeah, so I... I was already up, but I, I did. I told her, I said, hey, if, if I'm not up when you get home from work, like, wake me up. Make sure that, uh, I don't, and I figured with the, the nap yesterday that I was going to be good, and I was. It was fine. Um, I think I'm going to go over. We, we had somebody that lives close um, that obviously watches the channel and subscribes, and I'm not going to release his name um, until I go over there and talk to him but I think I'm gonna go give him a hand after I get a little bit done around here this morning um, he's got a tractor tire that's evidently giving him a fit and I'm gonna go over and um, hold on I got Jenna appreciate like that's the excitingness when you get a message from a nurse like the last <laughs> yeah um, I was literally just telling my coworkers this morning, two of them, they're girls, about how I'm not, like, I'm really open about everything, and they are not about, like, you know, like, personal things. Yeah. And I was like, I worked in a nursing home for four years. All I did was wet butts. Nothing phases me anymore. Yeah, once you gotta wipe another grown human being, I mean, it's different when it's, you know, a baby and it's your child. Mm-hmm. But then when it's a grown adult, you know, and they don't have the abilities to do that, you you yeah. kind of take another stage of, all right, all my shame that I could have about talking about something or doing something yeah, just... is out the window. So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to go over, I've got to unload the truck and because it's still full of feed and stuff like that for the animals. I need to get some bedding down with the meat birds. Meat birds. Um, we had a little trench around there, but you know everything's a hill around here, y'all. And their pen, while we were gone with all that rain over the weekend, was just a muddy mess. Like they're they're still covered in mud. Um, I put two bags of shavings down in there, and it helped, but they're already wet. So not standing water wets, but with the meat birds, their their whole job in life is to eat and poop um, and then become dinner. They are not smart enough to find dry area. They're not smart enough to get out. Like, yeah, they're the least brain using animal that we have on this property. <laughs> um, and so in prevention of that, I actually went and bought uh, horse pellet, the pellet bedding. Um, they're little tight pellets, but when they get the moisture, they expand and I'm going to do a little experiments and put some of that down and then put some more shavings to help prevent because we are due for storms this afternoon uh, and we don't want to, them getting sick, especially with them already being, uh, not being able to move them. You know, we have the immovable tricking tractor that can't tractor because it's too big and well, we don't have the ground for that. Um, so that's kind of a project first this morning, get the truck unloaded. Um, because just in case I can't fix a tire, then I can get it over to a tire shop and help him out. Um, he had reached out on our Facebook page and I didn't see it right away. And then Tara messaged me yesterday and said, Hey, you know, we've chatted back. She's chatted back and forth and she's, she's the one guys that normally does a lot of the responses to, uh, comments any of the chats and stuff on Facebook but for obvious reasons with her over there being with her dad um, now I'm taking care of that so if you don't get an immediate response like you're still gonna get one guys but just know it's me and it's a lot slower like be patient I'm not quite a hunt and pecker at the keyboard but I'm not as fast as I used to be either but um, I yeah, I think that's, we've got another little project, um, kind of waiting for the rain, um, that I'm going to go over probably to Ryan's, 
at Backroads Homestead and do a little project over there inside of his garage shop that doesn't get wet when it's raining. So that'll be pretty exciting. Um, we did we did get the video out yesterday on the main channel um, from our 10 killer experience and uh, now I just need to film. We're still working, I need to go back. So she was like halfway through editing on our Tennessee trip and didn't have time to finish that, but it's in the new program and I'm not even trying to figure out that new program because <laughs> it's guaranteed smarter than I am. Um, but we have the original program that I've used for editing before, so I may just pull pull all that footage and try to see over the next couple days if I can't get a bonus video of that out um, by Saturday because we need to get ourselves back into the schedule with everything going on. We've got behind on the main channel for videos. Um, and we thank you all for your patience on that. Like it's, and we know you guys appreciate it. It's just YouTube that doesn't appreciate it. So <laughs> now we, we kind of kicked ourselves out of the algorithm, but it is what it is. We're not doing this guys for the views, for all that. Like we're just giving you videos of our daily life and there happens to be a camera running. Um, and something for, you know, our grandkids and great grandkids to watch later on in life. It may be us when we old and lose our mind and forget what we used to do when we were younger. So what are your big plans for the day? Sleep. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, Probably sleep when you leave. I'll wake up for the live. Yeah, because we have, we have our live tonight. Um, I'll probably just stay up after that, to be honest. So, Jenna will join me here, and as it's set right now, as long as nothing major is going on, uh, Tara should be joining in remotely for that. So, we'll just pop her up on another window in there, as we typically do if a, if a guest comes up. Um, and, yeah, it'll it'll work. It'll, it'll be nice, honestly, guys, like... Until we try to do lives remotely, I don't realize how much nicer it is doing it from home where I have like all the setup <laughs> and everything. Like, uh, and it makes the incentive to get the studio done even more. Um, and I want to be milling today, I really do, but knowing rain's coming in, kind of the same. I know it's sounded like a broken record, but I don't want to tear that area up more by driving over it with a tractor. So I need a, a day or two of no rain. Um, but if this storm comes through and it's done, I think it's only one day. Someone at work said it's supposed to come around too. Yeah. Um, so I'll let that rain run through and then maybe that means kind of Friday, Saturday into the weekend, I can start milling. I need to get a lot of logs cut up and get lumber ready uh, for that, but other than that, Today, yeah. Sunday, Tuesday. <laughs> it's it's springtime and, you know, we remind ourselves like as much as the rain is kind of annoying right now is like this time last year, we were begging for one day without rain because it was literally. Oh, it was worse. Oh, it was way worse last year. Um, last, last winter, go, you know, early spring, we were getting rain, if not every day, every other day. Um, and it was anything short of a miracle if we went two straight days without rain um and it just yeah it stayed to where luckily the tractor's full wheel drive because that was the only thing that you could really get around on and get things done and um so it is drier in that aspect and honestly i think it's a pretty moderate i mean we complain because oh it makes things mud but that's for, all we have here is mud yeah right now it's a pain because it's it's just mud when it rains um but looking ahead at, at, you know, gardening and that kind of thing, like it is good and it's not flooding things out, at least for us, because we're a high elevation. Um, but I know other places that it, it, it is damaging um, and, and causing a havoc. But for us being up, I mean, there's a hundred foot of elevation change from where we're at right here, sitting on the deck of the tiny house down to the creek. So... And then it's steep coming back up. Yeah, f flooding is is not something that I worry about up here on the top. Because um, if it does, the only thing saving us is the arc. But we wanted to come on, guys. Um, you know, 
like I said, I think Jenna's Jenna's definitely going to lay down and get her rest for the day because she's got work again tonight. Um, and I'm just going to kind of tinker and go help this guy with a tractor tire and see what else I can get done today. But we appreciate you coming along and hanging out with us. Uh, I'll try to get these out as often as we can. I know Tara said she's going to try to record some stuff. Uh, from over there for what she can and we'll just kind of go back and forth so yeah just keep hanging out with us it'll be interesting at some point yeah no yeah, we'll see you well <laughs> there's never too many dull moments not with the crayon eater no got to have fun so all right guys we're gonna cut this one and i'll see you about uploading to the YouTubes. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you. Bye.